Okay, so uh, from the previous classes, we have done with the uh, journal arm. Journal has some more in last class. I spent one and a half hours to explain the question five, isn't it? All right, so from this question five, I taught you step by step how to do the journal arm, how to record into the journal arm, which one is for the journal has, which one is for the journal Berlian, uh, journal Jualan, Pulangan Berlian, Pulangan Jualan. Okay, so that's it for uh, the journal part. All right, so in today's class, I'll mainly focus on another two journal, okay, which are the journal Penerimaan Tunai and journal Pembayaran Tunai. Okay, so uh, go back, let's go back to this part. All right, so you see that there is a journal arm, um, journal has, and then these six journals. All right, and we have already uh, learned up to the four journals, and today I'll be explaining the penerimaan tonight and pembayaran tonight. And I told you before that why are we hardly seeing these two journals, such as penerimaan tonight and pembayaran tonight, is because uh, we have this uh, buku tonight. Right, so this penerimaan tunai and pembayaran tunai will combine together and become satu buku, panggil buku tunai. Therefore, when we have a buku tunai, then we don't need these two things, right? Because they are the same thing. Okay, so I'll prove to you how same or how similar they are. Okay, so um, before that, let me show you the format. So this is a format for journal penerimaan tunai and format for journal pembayaran tunai. Okay, so there are for penerimaan tunai and pembayaran uh, tunai, the same thing, ada tarik, ada butir, then there is a number, so one is for number receipt, is for uh, penerimaan tunai, number check would be pembayaran. Okay, then there is folio, tunai, bank, this will be the same. Okay, you see there is two nine, there is bank, there's two nine, there's bank. All right, but okay, something from here, there's a slightly uh, changes or slightly difference. Okay, so for let's focus at penerimaan tunai first. Okay, so tunai bank after that will be discount debury. Okay, discount debury. After that will be ABT. What's ABT? Account belum terima. Account belum terima. After that will be jualan and then line line account. What are line line account? Other than all these things, okay, then we throw it here. Okay, if there is satu uh, nega, if you don't see discount delivery, you don't see ABT, then you just throw it here, the line line account. All right, and then for pembayaran tuna will be the opposite of the penerimaan tuna. Okay, the opposite of discount delivery will be discount diterima. The opposite of ABT will be ABB. Account belum buyer. Then opposite of jualan will be belian. Okay, line line account here will be same. Okay, other than all this, then we throw into the line line account for the journal firm buyer tonight. All right. So now just use some common sense because as you know during my class. I like to use common sense, common reasoning to understand the, the concept of accounting. All right, so now you use a common sense and think. So the journal permanent to know what does it mean? Meaning, this is a journal. Journal means like um recording, all right, like a book. So a book for receiving manerima, okay, receiving, collecting, to nine means cash. All right, tunai here can be either tunai or bank. All right, that's why there's tunai and bank. All right, so this is the book to record penerimaan tunai. All right, cash collecting. All right, when you receive money, then we record in tunai, uh, sorry, journal penerimaan tunai. So now, how much do we receive? Okay, then we record here. Let's say I receive 1,800. Is it secara check or secara tunai? If secara tunai, then I record here 1,800. If it's secara check, check means 
bank. All right, then I will record one thousand eight hundred here in the bank. So depending on the question, so when you say Sechari check, then you show it here in two nine. If it is Sechari bank, then you put it inside bank. After that, you think, ada tak kita menerima discount? Oh, but sorry, kita tak terima. Kita berikan. Okay, when we receive money, meaning kita we will be the seller. All right. So when I sell. When I draw, that's why kita ada jualan ke sini. Because when I draw barang, I receive money. You know what I mean or not? So when I receive money, I have to say, I have the power untuk cakap, okay, I berikan discount. Because I'm the seller. So I am the seller, I have the right to give discount. That's why it's discount diberi here. Bukan discount diterima. Alright, I have the right to give a discount. Therefore, discount diberi here. And there is a account volume term because when you sell thing, Jordan is always together than ABT. All right. So here, come back to here. Let's say you you minimum one thousand eight hundred ringgit. Then we have to record where does this one thousand eight hundred ringgit coming from. So let's say one thousand eight hundred ringgit. I minimum one thousand eight hundred ringgit because so you jaw barang. And when you jaw barang, you record here lah. One thousand eight hundred ringgit for Jalan, and at the same time, the one thousand eight hundred ringgit will go into the two nine. Okay, let's say it's not from Jalan; it's from Jeffrey. Who is Jeffrey? Jeffrey is my ABT. So now Jeffrey returned the money to me. Then I record one thousand eight hundred ringgit from the account balance terminal. All right. So here, the journal payment two nine is the place where you record uh where the money comes from. Are you money man one? Dari mana? Okay, so I have to state it there. Okay, just like your persamaan perkenan. All right, there is a the debit side and the credit side. They must be inbound. Therefore, you look carefully here. Must be inbound money. Okay, later I will show you. Okay, then for pembayaran tunai will be the same lah, same concept. So pembayaran will be you buy a tunai. So when you buy a tunai, is either tunai or secara check. So if you pay check, then you record here lah. All right, and where does this money go to? You buy a untuk apa? Okay, you buy a kepada account belum bayar, or you buy a kerana you beli barang niaga. Then you record here belian. When you buy beli barang niaga dengan check, so you record belian one thousand ringgit, and then dengan check so one thousand ringgit here. That's how you record for general pemberian tonight. Because okay, if it is other than ABB belian, like what? Let's say you buy a gaji. You buy a, your bill telephone, your kada bayaran. So all these thing is not here, is not ABB, is not bullion. Then what do you record? You record in the line line account. All right. So that is the uh phone C for line line account. All right. So after explaining the format, let's do the question because it is when you do the questions, then you understand uh the concept. All right. So let's look at question six here. Question six. All right. Okay. So at the same time, I will take out my Excel. So take out your work, uh, your buku nota. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is question six now. What are we doing? Same thing, just like your journal, Berlin, journal, Jalan. The first thing is the title. What is this? This is a journal. Let's say this is a journal for the remote So, what is the format? The format will be uh, because what? So, they can write. So, here we tell you, telling you that you should do a journal for the remote and journal for the So, let's prepare the table first. Okay, let's do the journal first. So remember, it's always other tarik binya. After the tarik will be the putih run. Right. Okay, after that, if there is like a number receipt, number check, then you have to record lah. Right, so look at here after putih run, then number receipt for penerimaan. Right? Because after you receive uh, the money, okay, then you need to give receipt. So after you give it, giving out the receipt, then you need to record the number. So here will be the number receipt. 
Mm, okay. Then the folio. To that, okay, must have a tunai, you must have tunai, you must have bang, you must have discount, debris. Yeah, the discount debris will be account volume terima. I'll just put the ABT. After account volume terima, then that will be jualan. After that will be lion. Lion account. So these are the stuff that you must have in the journal penerimaan tunai. Draw the line. So after you're done with this uh, penerimaan tunai, then you do another one for Pembayaran tunai. So you just skip about 10 lines. Okay, I think 10 lines should be uh, more than sufficient. Eh? More than enough. Then you need to do like that. Um, boom. Number receipt, folio, two, nine, bank, discount, debury, account, volume, terima, jualan, and I make up. Okay, so then uh, you see about well, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then you do another one for journal perm by a run tonight. Then you have same thing, tare la, see, tare, booty run. Now, this is not number receipt, so it will be number, number chat because it's you buy. Right? Then folio. Same, two nine here. Then bang. Okay, now, tadi discount diberi ma in penerimaan to nine. Okay? So now, we change it to what? Discount diterima. Okay, because when I buy a means what? You buy a B, right? Buy a means I'm a buyer. It's the buyer that buy a. If you're a seller, you are a terima, right? So if you're a buyer, you buy a. So a buyer normally will ask for what? Discount, right? You go to shop, you ask the person, a hey, discount now. Why? Because I'm a buyer, right? Therefore, it will be a discount determiner. You cannot. Uh, Give discount delivery, right? Because we are not the seller. Where is it? Okay, right. Next. Okay, then here, Bayama. So this will be called the account balloon buyer ABB. Okay, then Bayama. So B, B then for Beliano, right? Because when you beli barang, then only you buy. Correct or not? Okay, then this one will be the same. Lion, Lion account. Okay. All right, so this is the you know, the table, the format. All right, so after doing this thing, then we need to read the question. Okay, then we need to throw from the question into uh, the journal, all right? Let's see. Okay, so are you guys ready? If yes, give me six, number six for question six. The rest, the rest. Give me six if you are ready. 
for question six. What do, you, what do I mean by ready? Ready means the table already done. Okay, so you are ready to do question six together with me. Okay, so now, first thing first, always remember. So which year is this? 2020. So under the turret, should we put 2020? And actually all this place like ring tunai, bang, discount delivery, all this will be in the unit of Ringgit Malaysia. So same thing here, we just put it in. 2020 okay so after that okay look at the first one october 1 the belian baronega dengan check is it not so from dengan check we sure we know what this will be kaitan dengan tunai Okay, now let's forget about buku tunai first. You don't have to know about buku tunai. So forget about buku tunai. Now we throw into either penerimaan tunai or pembayaran tunai. Okay, as long as we see check, we know that must be penerimaan tunai or pembayaran tunai. If you see secara credit, then what? Okay, so it's either general belian or general jualan. Somewhere there. Alright, so here is check, then tunai tunai. Okay, so apa? You belian barang nega. So you beli barang niaga dengan check. So when you beli barang niaga, you apa? You bayar. That's why very simple. The B, the B B B B B. Pembayaran, bank. I mean sorry, pembayaran and the belian. You see it? So now you go to pembayaran tunai. You put the month first. Bulan apa? Bulan Oktober satu. Okay. So what is the butiran? Untuk apa? Okay. This. 2600 I pay for what? Berlian. So in the booty run there, you write Berlian. Right? Follow up. Booty run, you put Berlian. Okay. Then how much? 2600. So 2600 dengan apa? Dengan check. So if it is check, check means what? Check means bank. Right? So under bank here, here, you put how much? 2006. Okay, after the bank, then there is this part, right? Okay, so this part you have to ask yourself, this 2,600 is for what? It's for Berlian, right? So if it is for Berlian, then under Berlian here, you put 2,006. Oh, oh. You see so you see that actually here is actually equals to here. Maybe I'll give a different line so that you can see the difference. Mm. Okay, here will be a little bit darker. You can see the line is a bit darker. Yeah. Okay. be go darker a bit. This one. This one. Okay, so here must equals to here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, by the way, this is other bagi nombor check, right? So you put it in. Check nombor 212421 two, here, this one. 212421. Two, so that is October 1. Are you done? If yes, give me one in the chat box. One for October Satu. Okay. Let's continue. Go to six. Now, look at six. Huh? You beli perabot. You beli. And I didn't check the sini. So, meaning, I beli dengan check. All right? Sometimes they don't give you this word, dengan check. But what? They give you nombor check. So, if you are the nombor check, Maksudnya, what? You buy it dengan check lah. Right? Just like. Just like what? Okay, just like um, I receive email from you. Okay, let's say I receive email from Ahmad. Okay, I open my phone and I saw an email from Ahmad. So, why would I receive an email from Ahmad? How? How? Because. Amat sendiri dia ada satu email. 
You get me? So by receiving an email, tells that Ahmad other email. So same thing if you other nombu check a sini meaning I buy it dengan check. Alright, therefore in October 6, you buy ama, right? You beli, beli memang for dengan uh, after you beli, you memang perlu buy lah. So in six year, so you beli apa? You beli perabot. So here in the booty you write perabot. Okay, so 3520. Which one? Is it 29 or bank? No more check. So check bank. Lah. All right, so 3520. Okay, then now look at this one. So 3520 is for what? For perabot. So perabot memang bukan discount. Perabot memang bukan ABB. Perabot not berlian because this berlian is only for what? Beli barang niaga sahaja. Perabot is not a barang niaga. Therefore, the parable be under the lion lion account. So here you put back the same figure 3520. So you'll be you seeing it's the same 3520, 3520. So do you understand number six or not? If yes, you need a six in the chat box. All right, make sure everyone is understanding it. Great. So it's very simple actually. Okay, then we go to 14. You jual, jualan tunai barang niaga. So when you jual barang niaga, and they already say secara tunai, there is a tunai word here. Maksudnya, you jual barang niaga secara tunai. So you jual, after that, you memang akan menerima tunai. So in the penerimaan tunai here, October 14. So money from where? From jualan. Okay, you don't need to write jualan tunai because there's no account for jualan tunai. Okay, there's account for jualan saja. All right, so jualan dengan tunai, 4,000. So under the tunai here, put 4,000. Okay, now this part, analysis. All right, so 4,000 dari mana? Dari jualan, right? So we really see jualan, so 4,000 here. Boom, boom. So it's the same thing. Okay, and other number receipt, number receipt is 3203. 3203, and same tadi I refer to put in. So for parabot tadi, it's 212422. 212422. 14, okay or not? If okay, give me 14 in the chat box. Okay, good. Okay, now. Move on to 15. Beri barang niaga and then you see the more check. Same thing, right? So we go here. 15. And then beli barang niaga. Beli barang niaga. I told you short form means belian. So you put the word belian. Okay, but you you cannot put the long word out. You cannot say beli barang niaga. I slap your head, beli barang niaga. Okay, because in accounting, you need to use the accounting term, which is panggil belian here. Okay, so this is a term for beli barang niaga. So belian dengan chat, right? So 4,800 under bank, 4,800. So money to where? To belian. So under belian here, 4,800. Okay, so 15, then 16. Now. Look at 16. Huh? You buy a belanja angkutan 720 ringgit secara tunai. So you buy a secara tunai memang injena pembayaran tunai lah. Okay, so 19. Okay, for what? Put your run. So you write belanja angkutan. Okay, because this is a belanja angkutan. Belanja angkutan. Eh, hey, tadi punya nombor check. Remember the point lah. So two one. Two, four, two, three. Okay, so this belanja angkutan uh, dengan tunai. Nampak tak? Secara tunai. So now under tunai here, you put the figure. How much? Uh, 720. Okay, so if it is tunai, then tunai. If it is check, then under bank. Okay, so this 720 ringgit, what? Is it discount? No, bukan discount. Is it account belum bayar? Bukan account belum bayar. Is it belian? Bukan belian. Belanja angkutan. So therefore, it will be under the line line account. 720. Okay, not 19. 
If you can understand, give me 19 in the chat box. 19, 19. Okay, you guys are fast. Good. Okay, after 19, we move on to 22. Okay. In 22, there are few uh niaga here. So we go one by one. Huh? Okay, let's look at A. So bayar insurance dengan check bayar. Pembayaran tunai lah, right? Dengan check what? Okay, so 22. So you buy up a buy insurance. So here you write insurance. Okay, dengan check. So bang, 400 ringgit. So here, what which one do we record in? Is it this one the rima? No, is it ABB? Bukan. Is it Berlin? Bukan. So insurance is actually a line line account. So you put 400 there. Okay, after B done, we go to, I mean, after A done, we go to B. Okay, you jaran barang niaga 2,400 dan check diterima. Maksudnya, you jaran barang niaga secara check lah. Alright, so you jaran barang niaga secara check. So, here, um, 22nd, so it's a jaran lah, right. Okay, you jaran, okay, right, okay, uh, 2,400 check, meaning bank. So, bank. 2,400. Okay, then here, 2,400 is a jalan. So, 2,400 under jalan. I don't know check that. Or oh, number receipt. Oh, number receipt, 324. So, 324. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now we move on to C. 22nd punya C. Okay. Kita bayar pemborong Zaina 6,800 ringgit. Okay, so bayar, right? Bayar dengan apa? Dengan, ada nombor check here. So, bayar dengan check. So, you bayar dengan check here. To siapa? To pemborong Zaina. So, pemborong Zaina. How much? Dengan check uh, 6,800. Okay, now. Who is this Pemborong Zaina? Now, normally when you see a name there, Pemborong Zaina ke, uh, Pemborong apa atau kedai apa, you buy ya? Maksud, this is actually a account belum buy ya. So, here, the Pemborong Zaina is under the ABB, account belum bayar, 6,800. Like okay, wait. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, not done yet. Huh? I didn't see this one. Okay. So, there is actually a discount determiner. Can you see huh? so there is a, This is actually together one. Huh? Okay, let me check that. So you buy a Pemborong Zaina 6,800 ringgit, then you terima discount 480 ringgit. Daripada Zaina. Okay, so you, you buy a 6,800 ringgit, and then you add a discount di terima 480 ringgit. Maksudnya here, the account belum bayar should be how much? The account belum bayar is actually... um. You buy a six thousand eight hundred, and then you turn on this four hundred eighty. It should be seven thousand two hundred eighty. Like that. Okay, we are. So actually, yeah, yeah. This one should come over here. The line should be here. Mm -hmm. I should be here instead. So, no more than ah, yeah. okay. So let me explain to you uh, for this Pemborong Zaina. Okay. 
By the way, before that, make sure you change ah. You should uh the line is actually here. So meaning here jumla equals to here jumla. All right, here jumla equals to here jumla. Okay, so look back to this pemborong zaina. So for this pemborong zaina, I get to buy a six thousand eight hundred ringgit. Okay, so I already paid. So first step, we record the six thousand eight hundred under the bank because the charity check. Okay, so this is the first step you should do. Okay, then they're telling us that Marika, ter, um, Marika or Kita, okay, CTL trading, terima discount 480 ringgit dari pada pemborong Zaina. So, it is, uh, I pay for 6,800 uh, ringgit and in addition, I receive discount 480. Therefore, in discount terima here, I put 480 ringgit. Okay. So from here, we know that actually I buy a, uh, I pay, I buy a 6,800, and I tapat discount 480 ringgit. Maksudnya, sebenar, the ABB yang sebenar adalah berapa? You add up together and what you get? 7280. I mean, so meaning ABB akan tolak 72,880 because I tap up 4,000. Uh, sorry, I tap up 480 ringgit of discount and then I buy a 6800. So basically, you tambah this one, then you get the figure here. That's why I say here must be sama dengan sini. Okay, or not? if okay, give me okay in the chat box. If okay, give me an okay in the chat box. So this one is something similar to your persamaan per economy. Right? Your persamaan per economy. Okay. Next. D. Terima 71,800. So you terima. Terima apa? Penerimaan lah, right? So here... 20 seconds, then you write again. So, you terima daripada saver, diterima. Oh, by the way, tadi punya ada receipt lah. Tak ada lah. Ada check kan. So, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 4. Okay. So, saver diterima 1,800 ringgit dengan check. You terima 1,800 ringgit secara check, meaning dalam bank lah. Okay. 1,800 ringgit. Okay, so this 1,800 ringgit from mana? Ah, so it's either three, the ABT ke, jualan ke, line line account. So saver memang is in line line account lah. So 1,800 ringgit here. And the number receipt is 3205. Okay, so last, the 27th. Okay, you terima check 6,000. Daripada Pasar Raya John. So same thing when you see a terima check. Daripada a name. So this is actually account balloon. You see a name then it must be account balloon. Apa? Terima check right? Meaning this is an account balloon terima. Is it not? So later will be ABT lah. Okay. So now 27. Uh, daripada siapa? Pasar. So you can write a name. Pasar Raya John. Okay, you terima check. Okay, so from bank lah. Check means bank, 6,000 ringgit. Terima this amount of money. Okay, then at the same time, diberikan. Okay, kita berikan discount how much? 420 ringgit. So you put 420 ringgit here. Is it not? So, I terima 6,000. After giving out the discount of 420 ringgit, you add them up. Actually, the account yang belum terima Supposed to be how much? 6,420. So, this is apa yang dihutangkan daripada Pasar Raya John. Tapi, kita bayar hati, we give him 420 ringgit of discount. So, after giving 420 ringgit of discount, so now they pay us 6,000 ringgit. So, this is the amount yang kita terima daripada check. 6,000 ringgit. So, number receipt, then I give them receipt. So, the receipt number will be 3. 
So that's 27. Oops. Okay. So 27, okay or not? If okay, give me a 27 in the chat box. Okay, then give me 27 in the chat box. Okay, now after that, all right, I give you time to complete it. One minute, all right, I'll give you one minute to complete up to here, this one and this one. Now, maybe right here. Yang those that really done, okay, you jumlahkan, all right? You jumlahkan first, like here, right? So you draw a line. Okay, so how much is jumlah here? So 4,000, 4,000 lah, okay? Oops. thousand. then here jumlah. Jalan. Okay, do the same thing here for your permanent tonight.
Oh, I'm mute. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, so, okay. Are you guys done or not for this one? Okay, if done, give me a D O N E done. Okay, thanks for informing. Okay, I didn't know that it's muted. Okay, Lana. All right, so uh, now you can check. Okay, so you can actually check the answer. Not actually the checking the correct answer, but just to make sure what you're doing is right. Okay, so you use this one. You just add up this three figure in the before the bow line. Okay, you add this three figure together. You get 14,620. Okay, now you check this one, see if it's the same or not. So you add this three up. Um, um, it's the same. This is like a personal pattern. Same concept. All right, so it, if the, these two figures are the same, you know what? Chances are uh, there is no mistake. Lah, okay, for so far, I mean like, Probably there's no mistake. Okay, but 1%, yes, there is mistake. Okay, depending on how you record the thing. Okay, but based on the format, you did it correctly. Okay, so what about this one? You can check also. Add this up. I get 19,020. What about here? Add this up. This, they must be the same. 19,020. Ta-da. All right, so now do you understand the uh, Panerman tonight and Pomeran tonight? Jenna, if yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Yes, great. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, so come back to this nota. Yeah, now look at this. Format again, let's together look at this format. Okay, now let's look at Buku Tunai. Now, this Buku Tunai is a bit longer. Why is it so long comparing to Jena Pembayan Tunai and Penerima Antunai? It's just because, now see ah, look familiar now. See before, see before. Eh, discount the Buri, Tunai, and Bank. Then again, Tarik Butil Folio discount D Terima then to nine bank summer. So if you pay well enough attention just now, is actually this thing. Uh, where's my color? Okay, this one. So it's actually your Penerima and to nine this part plus. Your pembayaran to nine this part, and they form a buku to nine. Is it not? So here is actually your penerimaan to nine, while here is your pembayaran to nine. Do you understand? If yes, give me a BT for Buku tonight. BT. And that's why, if you recall back what I said just now, I say that we don't normally we don't use these two things. We just use Buku tonight. Why? Because why, why do you want to waste your time going and do one whole thing just for Penerima and Tunai and someone you need to write this three thing and then another one for Pemba and Tunai and then you'll write this three thing again. No, you just do one Buku Tunai, Tare Buju and Folio Discount Diberi Tunai Bank and then continue Tare Buju Folio Discount Diberi Tunai Bank and then this is one whole Buku Tunai. All right. So you can see like that. So that's why here there's a cutoff point. So that's why here and here they can form a buku tonight. So when you look at this one, then you go to question seven. Now, Rujuk Soalan Enam, Menyediakan 
buku tunai tiga lajur. Buku tunai tiga lajur means the buku tunai that you saw just now. This one. This is a buku tunai tiga lajur. Why is it called tiga lajur? Because one, two, three. Tiga benda you have to record. This can be very tunai bank. Discount, tunai bank. This cheating. That's why it's called buku tunai tiga lajur. Right? So now you go to seven. This seven, uh, actually, I think you don't need to do that. All right, just watch me. Okay, I just explain to you. So from this book to nine, so for this question seven, is the same thing, right? Because I say you rujuk, you rujuk. So and the meaning is the same thing, but now I don't want to do general penerimaan tunai dan pembayaran tunai. I want to do a book to nine. So here you buat satu book to nine in your format. So the format will be the tarik butiran folio tunai bank and discount. Eh, sorry, uh, discount to right. Okay, so be discount the tarik mungkin beri. And then your two nine, all right, two nine first, and then back. Okay, so same thing here. Okay, now let's draw out this uh thing together first. You don't need to do question seven, but I want you want you to draw out this table. Then later we can show we do question eight. Okay, which requires to do buku two nine as well. All right, so tare butiu folio is gonna be very two nine bang. Tare butiu folio discount here will be discounted tari ba. Tunai bank. So this is it. This is like a ledger. Yeah. Okay. So same thing. Start with the year. It will be 2020, 2020. Now always remember this is the debit side, the credit side. And here the debit side, this is actually the penerimaan side because in. Remember I said debit means in and credit means out. So when we kita receive, when kita menerimaan tunai, menerima tunai. So menerima means the money comes in. That's why kita debit buku tunai. And this buku tunai should be uh, in the middle here, buku tunai. So this is actually your buku tu lah, alright. So penerimaan, pembayaran. So here we can give Malaysia RM 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 RM. Okay now, if kita refer back to soalan tadi, this six. So it's actually the same thing, alright. So when you belian beli barang yang dengan check, so you just what credit. Your book to nine. So October one. So butiran, you belian barang niaga dengan check. So this is a belian, right? So belian. So how much? This is two thousand six hundred. So in your dengan check, so under the bank, you put two thousand six hundred. That's it. So it's actually the same thing when you look at your pembayaran here. Then after that, beli perabot. You beli perabot dengan check. So same thing. So you credit here six. Then apa yang beli? You beli perabot. So is it using check or tunai? Check. So bank. So this is a three thousand five hundred twenty. Bum bum. So it's the same thing. Can you see now? So actually, we can straight away 
copy and paste because it's the same thing. Like that. And then the figure. Another bank. Then the discount 480. When you have a discount determiner, 480 for this uh, Oberon designer. So now, that's why I say kita, we don't need general permanent tonight and penerimaan tonight when we have a buku tonight. So I can actually copy and paste from a penerimaan tonight here. This one. And then this is here. And then 420 discount delivery for Pasa. 420. So like that. So after that, now this one you need to watch. Right here, a bit different. Hold on now. Okay, so now after done this part, then you need to draw one line. Okay, so see where is longer. So is it here longer or cardisa longer? So cardisa is longer, right? Here, isn't it? All right, so. So here, what you're going to do is you need to jumlahkan. Okay, you jumlahkan this one. You jumlahkan the two nine. Okay, but then you don't you don't jumlahkan this one, okay? Uh, because we need to compare. All right. So, okay, hold on, on. Let me make this thing nice. Look nicer first. Like that. Okay, so one line then must be the same line as well. And then number nine. Okay. So this can be all can jumla is the same. Okay, 420, 420. Then this can be terima jumla 480 for here. Okay, now listen ah, carefully ah. Okay, your two nine on the debit side and the two nine on the credit side, then you need to compare after Jumla. Which one is bigger? 4,720. 4,000, right? So 4,000, you put it here. So here will be 4,000. Okay, so the Jumla must be the same, debit and credit side. Okay, so 4,000, the debit the credit side, we need two nine, so you put that, the Jumla. 4,000, 4,000. I do it. Okay, okay. One more part. Forgotten. Should add one more stuff here. Okay. Okay. You need to skip a line then only draw. Okay. Where like that? Like that. Okay, so 480, then 4,000, right? Okay, now, you need to use this 4,000 to minus the 720, the Joomla in your tuna here. Okay, so you use 4,000 minus 720, then you get 3,280. So you put a 3,280 here. Okay, and this one, we will call it a Baki HP. What's the last day of October? 30th. Put 30th here. The other differs should be the differs. Okay, so this is a Baki HB. You put Baki HB, then 3280. Okay, now let's continue. The bank. Mana Lebe Versa. Obviously, I think it's a credit set Lebe Versa, right? Okay, so you put it here. Then you put 18120, and then here, summer. The Joomla must be the same. 18120. Okay. Then here, this line here, okay, it goes to this one, the Joomla, tola all this figure, tola one uh, 2400 minus 1800, 
minus 6,000. Then you get 7,920. This 7,920, same thing, we'll call it a Baki HB. So same thing, last date, 31st. Okay, now, so now, not done yet. Okay, when you have a Baki HB, then there must be a Baki BB. There's a HB, you must cross out opposite uh, from here, the credit side, you must bring to the debit side Baki BB. Okay, here, the next month will be called November, right? So the next month, November 1st. Okay, so how much? The HB is 3,280 under 2,9, right? So when you come to BB, under 2,9, same, 2,929, here you put 3,280, same figure, this one and this one. Okay, now, same thing. On your debit side, on your debit, there is a Bucky HP, right? Okay, so HB, they must have a BB on the other side. So debit, you go down to BB, will be in the credit side, Bucky BB. Okay, another month will be, after October will be November 1st as well. Okay, so BB, how much? 7,920. So this 7,920 is under bank. Therefore, your BB under bank here, 7,920. Boom. So this is how you record your Buku tonight. All right. And you'll be wondering, eh? What about the discount determinant, discount delivery? Okay, that one, you don't care. All right, we don't have to do HB or BB for that. All right, because the discount is just for that month. All right, so you just zoom now. Let's say 420, you zoom now, you put 420. On the credit side, there's 480, then you put 480 in zoom now. But only 29 and bank, we need to do the HB, BB. Okay, what is HB, by the way? So write it down. Bucky HB means... Baki Hanta Kebawa and Baki BB means Baki Bawa Kebawa. Therefore, there is a Baki here. Then I need to Hanta Kebawa. I need to send to here. Therefore, when it is hanta, then this figure here, we will call it a baki yang bawa ke bawa. So same thing, you need to hanta this to bawa. So this 3280 will be the baki bawa bawa. All right, so do you understand now? Okay, if okay, you still following Binya, you give me okay in the chat box. And we will do one question for Bugu tonight. For, uh, in question eight, uh, then you love it, understand it. Okay, so now let's go. Let's do this question together. Question eight. So in question eight, this is Ulus Niagara, and now we have to do a buku tonight. Tiga lagi. So it's the same thing here. This one. Okay. So now. Go to question eight. So this is the format. So I'll just copy and paste because it's the same thing. Okay. I'll pick up to here. Okay, are you guys ready for question eight? Can I continue? If yes, give me eight in the chat box. So this one we need to do together, all right? So that you can understand the whole buku tonight. Okay, if you're ready for eight, give me eight. Okay, so only one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll give you two minutes to prepare buku tonight. 
all right, to prepare a table because I want you guys to be ready and do the question together, all right? So I give you two minutes to prepare the buku tonight. You need, you need to be fast, okay? For all the buku tonight, there must be a tare, butiran, folio, discount library tonight, bang, this is the penerimaan side. And for the credit side will be tare, butiran, folio, discount diterima, tonight, and bang. Okay, I give you two minutes, quick, till 9.35. So one more minute now. Okay, if done, give me an eight in the chat box, yeah? So then I know you're done. Okay, so for those that are done, look at question eight and try to imagine how to do. See if you can do it or not. So good one is actually very, very, very 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 simple okay so but this question is very simple to do i think because very straightforward question okay so 935 okay i'll continue huh? 2018 may so we know that this is 2018 so this is 2018 year 2018 Okay, so May 1st, you are the Baki Tunai Titangan and Baki Tunai Di Bang. All right, so Baki Tunai Titangan meaning you have Baki in Tunai and you have Baki inside Bang. So how do you record this one? So when you have Baki, it's always in the debit side, meaning we got money on hand. So it's in or it's not out. If it is on the credit side, meaning it's outside. Okay, it's not our money. We had to pay. So when in, that's why here, the May one, we put May one in the debit side, May Satu. Okay, this Baki, we call it a Baki BB. All right, Baki yang bawa ke bawa. Because this Baki BB is actually from last month's when your HB, just like this one. Is it not? So after HB, you come down, it become a BB. Start of a new month. So then you continue November, blah, blah, blah. So this one is the same thing. In the beginning of the month, Baki Awa, Baki BB, then you add a uh, Tunai Titangan, which is 29. So you put a figure, how much? 1,100. And then for bank, you add a 2,000 ringgit, then you put 2,000 ringgit. Okay, now, if okay, give me one in the chat box. Give me one, one, one in the chat box. Okay, I'll continue. So now move on to third. So this one very simple. Lah. Okay, you believe parabot dengan check. So just like tadi bunyi jenna pembayaran tunai, but now we don't record in jenna pembayaran tunai, we still we record in buku tunai. So you believe dengan check. So you beli the B, we have to buy it, right? So on the credit side, the money goes out. So you credit it. And then May 3rd for what? The butiran you write, apa? Perabot. So, perabot. Perabot. Dengan check. Check means the bank. How much? 180 ringgit. Oh. Okay. So, I don't need to care about penerimaan or pembayaran tonight now. Okay? Because we just show we record in the buku tonight. Now, good seven. Bayar kepada pembekal cin dengan check one thousand eight hundred ringgit terima discount two hundred ringgit. Okay, so it's the same thing. You bayar kepada pembekal cin. So when you see a name pembekal cin, so we know that this is an account balloon. And in the front, is it you bayar atau terima? You bayar. So this is a account balloon bayar pembekal cin. Okay, so when kita bayar, then we have to credit our buku tunai. So this is seventh, 
So to sepa, then you can write in the name lah. Pembegau chin. Bayar kepada pembegau chin. And dengan check, how much? 1,800 dengan check means under the bank, 1,800 ringgit. And at the same time, kita terima discount 200 ringgit. So discount kita terima here 200 ringgit. Are you okay with seven? If yes, give me a seven in the chat box. Seven, seven, seven. The holy number, seven, seven, seven. Okay, next. Let's continue. After seven will be eleven. Okay, then after seven, eleven now, nah, right? So, uh, eleven will be what? Jualan barang niaga. Then check the terima. Obviously, when you jual barang, then uh, dengan check so you akan menerima wang, menerima check. So I have to debit. This is the penerimaan side. Don't forget. So here May eleven. Uh, what is the butiran? You jual barang, therefore you write jualan. Jalan dengan check so bank right under the bank there you put seven hundred sixty okay then after eleven will be twelve okay twelve two nine dikeluarkan okay this one put a star beside it important not important but you need to understand this concept okay so when you see two nine Dikeluarkan dari bank untuk kegunaan pejabat. They didn't say they buy or sell anything, right? They say they take out the money, they withdraw the money. So I draw a picture out for you so that you can understand. So now there is tunai, right? There's tunai di tangan, meaning cash. Tunai di tangan is cash, lah, all right? So the, the note, the currency note, all right? The cash. Wow, like that, one stack. Uh, wow. Okay, so this is what we call a tunai di tangan or tunai. Then there's another form which is in your bank account. Dalam bank. So you store inside your bank. So you use online transfer. It's not in cash. It's inside your bank account. So this one is what we call tunai di bank. All right, or account bank. Okay, now you read number 12 again. Tunai dikeluarkan dari bank. Meaning, now I need to use cash. Why? Because, maybe because you go to mama. Mama, they don't take QR payment. They don't take uh, debit card or credit card. All right? So mama mereka nak kutip cash. So when you go to mama and eat, before you go to mama and eat, you need to go to bank and withdraw money from the ATM machine. That's why they check up. Keluarkan daripada bank. So now the money is actually from the bank into the tunai form. Tunai dikeluarkan daripada bank. You see or not? Untuk kegunaan. Because for, for company use. Alright. So when this happened, this is actually a phenomenon of contra. Kita panggil contra. Alright. So when this thing happened, now we need to know two things. Is either a B T T B or T B B T. What is the B T T B and what is the T B B T? The B here stands for bank, and the T stands for tunai. All right. Okay. So now with this. Meaning this B T D B means bank two nine two nine bank and T B B means two nine bank bank two nine. Okay, so come back to here. Two nine the Korean the bank now. As you now the one is in two nine or in bank form. If it is in two nine form, you give me two nine. If it is in bank form, then give me bank in the chat box. So which one? Is it in? Now I keluarkan daripada bank. So now the money is dalam tunai, dalam tangan, or dalam bank account. Everyone answer. You withdraw money from an ATM machine. So now the one is actually tunai di tangan, bukan tunai di bank, right? 
So it is now here. That's why I, I draw the arrow here. So it take out and now is in tunai titangan. So when it is done, uh, the form of tangan, a form of tunai, then we need to use this method to record. B T T B. Right? Bang, tunai tunai. So you look at the middle. So if from bang to tunai, so it will be TT in the middle. If it is from tunai to bang, then it will be BB in the middle. All right. So now it's from bang to tunai, right? So now my, my money is in tunai form. So I have to use this BTDB. So how do you use this BTDB? So look at here. Look at this bugu tunai. So start with what? B, right? So here, the putty run, you put B for bang. Okay, by the way, this is when? 16. Okay, so B done. Then the next one will be T, 29. So here, under 29, can you see the 29 here? T for 29. Then you put a figure. How much? 250. So under 29, the T here, you put 250. So that's the number the second alphabet, T. Then the third alphabet is the T again. So here, the T here. In the booty run here, you the T for two nine. So 16, same date. Okay, after that, the last will be B. So that will be the B for bank, 250 ringgit. The tarik, no, no, oh, sorry, sorry. Is this 12, right? Okay, yeah, it's 12, not 16. Okay, so it's 12. So it could, the original negative 12. All right, so when you look at this recording, it will be B, T, T, B. B, T, T, B. Why B, T, T, B? Because now the money is dalam tunai, bentuk tunai, bukan bentuk bank. Okay or not? Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a B, T, T, B in the chat box. BTTB. Okay, so it's either one, uh, BTTB or TBBT. And because this is a contra, therefore, when this happens, in the follow here, okay, now finally you can use folio. So here you put a K, K for contra. So here, K. So it's nothing happened. You're just moving the money from the bank account to two nine. All right. Okay. Let's continue. After twelve, we go to sixteen. So sixteen, you terima commission to charge tonight. You terima tonight. So debit side. Sixteen. Remember commission. So this is a commission. D terima. So how much? One hundred ringgit. So is it tonight or check? This is a tonight. So tonight, one hundred ringgit. Okay, after 16, then 21. Bayar dengan check. So, memang credit lah, pembayaran. So, 21st. So, bayar apa? Bayar sewa. So, this will be called sewa dibayar. So, sewa dibayar. Secara apa? Secara, eh sorry, here. Secara check, right? Dengan check. So, dengan check will be under bank. How much? 300 ringgit. Okay, then after 21, we go to 22nd. Terima check about the Kedai Finti. So, see, you, know, you see a name, Kedai Finti. So, normally it will be what? A account balloon. Balloon apa? A T, terima. So, this is a account balloon terima, Kedai Finti. Okay, but now you terima check. So, terima memang here lah penerimaan the debit side. So, on the 22nd, daripada siapa? Daripada Kedai Finti, our account balloon terima. Indeed. So, how much yang terima check? 1,200 bank. 1,200 ringgit. And then, kita telah berikan discount. 150 ringgit. So, discount diberi here. 150. Done. That's 22nd. Okay. So, okay. Now, are you guys following? If yes, give me a 22 in the chat box. 22. 
following unit two two. Okay, all right. Okay, now we twenty four. Okay, what is this twenty four? Check and determine. Daripada check yang diterima daripada kedai Findi dipulangkan oleh bank kerana tak laku. Okay, so this is actually a check tak laku. What is a check tak laku actually? A check tak laku means I go to the bank, I put in the check that I receive from kedai Findi. Kedai Findi berikan check saya, so I need to go to the bank and put in the check. So when I put in the check, then the machine reject the check. Okay, check it to the reject. So when it rejects, maksudnya, the money cannot goes in. So when that happens, maksudnya, I tak, I tak dapat, saya tak menerima wang daripada Findi dah. Alright, so when I tak menerima wang daripada Findi, walaupun tadi, I already record, I terima check. But now, check tak laku, so I need to take out. So tadi saya debit dah, so sekarang, because of check tak laku, I have to credit out the check. So here in 21, 24th. So I need to credit and write kedai Findi. Okay, kedai Findi, how much? 1,200 ringgit. So daripada check right bank, so 1,200 ringgit. Take out. Because I didn't receive the money from Findi. Because check itu tak masuk. If it masuk, then I tapat one. If it masuk, maksudnya I need to take out this one thousand dollar ringgit. And this discount you don't have to record, right? Because this part is for discount diterima. If you record one hundred fifty in here, maksudnya I terima discount but daripada fifty. No, that's not the case. All right, just that this one hundred fifty will be dipatahkan automatically, right? So I just need to record one thousand two hundred in the credit side of the bank. All right. So after twenty four. 27, you belian tonight. Beli barang niaga secara tonight. So, belian, credit side. Here, 27. So, you put belian. So, tonight, right? So, under tonight here, you put 450 ringgit. Done. 28, jualan tonight. Jual secara tonight. Jual, then you debit lah, right? So, uh, 28, jualan. Then two nine, so here under two nine here you put six hundred ringgit. Okay now, are you up to twenty eight? If yes, give me twenty eight in the chat box. Twenty eight, two eight. Okay, so now the twenty eight, last one thirty eight. Now look at this thirty eight. Put the star there also. So now. For the third year, lah, masukkan tunai ke dalam bank. Tadi lah, keluarkan tunai daripada bank. So now the movement will be dari masukkan tunai ke dalam bank. So here, back to this uh, diagram. Now is the money, the tunai into bank. So when tunai to bank, now sekarang ask yourself the question. Right now. Wang itu adalah dalam bentuk tunai atau dalam bentuk bank. So obviously, when you masukkan tunai into the bank, so now the wang akan di dalam bank. So when the wang is di dalam bank now, yes, bank. So which one do you use? We use the T, B, B, T. Because the B, B is in the middle. So you look at the middle one. So if B, B in the middle, meaning this is bank. If B, T, D, B, yang tadi, T, T in the middle, then this is dalam bentuk tunai. You see or not? So now, T, B, B, T, we use the uh, bank, we use T, B, B, T. So how do you record? So the T, the T stands for what? Tunai. So after tunai, will be B, B for bank. So bank here, you put 700 ringgit. So T, B, B. B, so here you put bank. The third, so after B, the last one will be 2-9. All right, so under 2-9 here, you put 700 ringgit. So that's how you record. So now do you understand what is TBBT? How do you use this TBBT? If yes, give me a TBBT in the chat box.
right? So there is a B, T, T, B, and T, B, B, T. Okay, so this is a contra. So in the folio there, you put a K, contra. Okay, after this, all right? So read that one, isn't it? So up to 30th. So come back to here. So now let's zoom in and complete it, close it. So how to close? So now you just, let skip a line. So skip a line. This, is, this line will be for the bar key, HB, right? Remember? So after skip a line, here, this tree put the one line, double line. All right, so then the discount debris, you do not 150, and the discount determinant, you do not 200. Okay, after that, look at two nine. Compare the two nine on the debit side and the two nine on the credit side and see which one is bigger. Obviously, the debit side is a little bit better, so 1,100 plus 250, 100, 600, more than this one, definitely. So now you do not and put it in the Joomla. 2050. So this 2050 will be the same for the credit side 29, uh, 2050 in the Joomla. So, but when you plus this together, memang that upper 2050, right? Therefore, you need to find out how much left to become 2050. So you use this Joomla, you minus the 450 and you minus this 700. Then you get 900. The, what is this 900? This 900 will be our Baki HP. So May, May 31st. Okay, then after tonight, do the same thing for bank. You compare which one is bigger. Mm, I think that beside is bigger, lah, right? So Jumla Khan. 4,660, put it here. 4,660, and then this same thing, market HP, you find out how much. So you use this one, the Joomla, total out all the bank on the credit side, 180 minus 1,008 minus 250 minus 300 minus 1,200, and we will get 900 and 30. How about the discount delivery Kodai Findi? Yep. So as I said, the discount delivery for Kodai Findi, we don't have to record. Okay. Where do you want to record 150? It, uh, you cannot put it here. Because this one is what? A discount determiner. If you put it here, it becomes a discount delivery. Therefore, we don't have to record it. All right. Because when we do this account, when we see a Kodai Findi here, 1,200, and we see Kodai Findi, 1,200 ringgit here again, so there's a check dalaku. When there's a check dalaku, I minus out the money already, then this discount will automatically cancel the battle All right. So therefore, we don't have to do anything for the discount delivery uh, during 24th. Everyone understand? Yes or no? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Right, so when you have discount, you only record when someone say other discount. Okay, when other check talaku, we don't have to record discount. We just record the amount yang talaku the check sahaja. That's why it's called check and talaku. Okay, so uh, so after we got this figure of the baki HB nine hundred and nine hundred thirty. So I said whenever you have a baki HB, sentiasa apabila ada baki HB. Memang you have to record Baki BB. So, handa ke bawah. So, this will be a Baki yang bawah ke bawah. BB. Okay, so after May will be what? June. June, first day. Okay, so now you handa. Handa apa? Tunai, 900. So, you bawa tunai, same, 900. So bank, 9.30, hantar to bawah 9.30 under bank to draw. So this is the answer for your buku tonight. 
number eight. So that's it. So after you're done, if you want, you can close it with one line. Oh, like that. All right, so this will be the Baki BB. Can you see now? It's the same thing here. It's almost the same. The Baki BB for May 1, June 1. Then in June, then there is the Urus Nyanga, there's a new transaction. So in June 13, mereka akan beli, beli lagi. After that, mereka akan draw, then they continue. Blah, 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 blah. And then they hanta bawa to new month will be July. So July 1 will be Baki BB. So understand or not? So, are you done with question eight? If yes, give me an eight in the chat box. That's it. Give me a pan in the chat box. All right. So, this is your buku tonight. It's just simple. It's just that simple, right? So, you just do this thing for them. And sometimes, so on, uh, in the exam, they'll give you the format ready in the, the buku tonight. Right, they give you a format, then you just fit in the figure like this or not. But best you remember the format so that even in the exam they don't give you the format, you can do the format, you can do the solan. If they don't give it up, it can panic because you know the format. All right, so then I give you homework and then you do. All right, so what is the homework thing today? Homework, not much as well. Okay, so the homework is um seven page sixty three. You do question seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Right, so there are five questions. Let me see. 17, 18, 19, and 21. Right, so 17 and 18 just ask, asking you to do the general penerimaan and general pembaran tonight. And for 19 and 20, is a bit special because uh, they give you document. All right, so this document is very straightforward. Just need to know for what, and then you just record in your general penerimaan tonight, and also the general pembaran tonight. So you try out how to do this document. Okay, but later on, uh, in next classes or next few classes, I will touch on document. How to record from document into journal. All right, so this is a bit, uh, you need to know how to read the document and make it into the journal and buku tuna. All right, so that will be later thing. So now, for now, you just need to uh, try to do question 19 and question 20 on your own. Okay, and after that, uh, finish up the question 21 as well. The question 21 will be your buku tonight, what we learned from here. All right, so five questions for you, and I will see you in the next class. All right, so take care, stay safe, and have a nice day. Goodbye.